This is gonna be a really good picture, a really bad picture. I'm taking the video, John. It's on video. If you can. Hey guys, Josh here. And it's Tony. John. <laughs> we uh we did a little unprompto uh lunch at Kona what was it Grill. called? Kona Grill. Um it was something else. We uh we went in there. And we had, well, first of all, the the ambiance is pretty good. Mm -hmm. The it looks really really nice. It's a uh, been there for what a couple years. It's been a couple years. Yeah, a couple years. It's right across the street from Texas De, uh, De Brazil in Tampa. Um, off of Bruce. It's off, off of, of Bruce. Spruce. Off of Spruce. Spruce, Spruce Street. Street. Um, we ordered a pot sticker for the appetizer, which. Uh, what did you guys think about? about it? it was good. It was good. Uh, the sauce that, that came with it was really good. It reminded me of our local uh, Chinese restaurant we go to from time to time. Um, and the, what was it, like a cabbage slaw? Yeah, that was really good. Came with it. It was like though. a pickled, spicy cabbage slaw. It was really good. Um, then we, the our server was wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. She was Latrice. excellent. Latrice, I believe, was her name, yeah. She was attentive, like the last couple, and she just took care of us, like like a waitress should. She was great. She was great. She was great. That being said, um, our meals quickly took a downturn. At least mine and John's. Uh, but let's start off with it on a good note. Um, Tony, what did you? You had the spider roll. I had the spider roll. Which uh, it was. Uh, they're they're known here for their sushi a little bit, right? I I think so. They okay. they it was. Um, Fried soft shell crab, crab salad, avocado, uh, in a in you know in a roll, a, a sushi roll. Um, yeah, I thought it was fantastic. It, that tasted good. It, it, you know, I'd give it a, a four out of five. That. Now compared to, I've said I've said this in a previous video. Compared to our local spot that I, I convinced you to go to, it eventually. How what would you, you how would you compare that roll to a Kazu's, not a koi, not koizy. Kazu's, Kazu's is a, is a, to me, Kazu's is one of the best sushi, sushi places you can go to. Now, would it, you? It, it was not as good as, as Kazu's. But no. it's still worth it to go here for like a lunch or something, for for a and roll. If you're gonna eat the rolls, yes. Okay. Good, good, good. Um. Now I had tried Tony's spider roll. He gave me a piece of try. And I thought it was, uh, the same with him, I thought it was really good. Nowhere near Kazu's level, but still good to come out here for lunch. How much was it, the roll? Uh, 16, I believe. 16, but it's a big roll. It's not like a small little dainty it's, it's roll. 10 it's, it's 10 pieces of a big, big size roll. Yeah, that was um, good. That was excellent. Now, to take a little bit of a downturn on our experience, I had the uh, sweet chili glazed salmon, which came with uh, fried rice and Brussels, Brussels sprouts. The salmon was excellently, just excellent. The flavor, how it was cooked, it was nice and crispy, but moist and retained its flavor on the inside. The rice, which I had dry, John tried because he likes pork fried rice uh, quite a bit. What did you think about the rice? The rice was phenomenal. Phenomenal? That's what I thought. The The sauce from the, from the, the honey glaze sauce or the sweet chili sauce they had, it's it's they put it on the salmon and the Brussels sprouts, and it was really, really good when it went into the the fried rice. Now the Brussels sprouts, I like Brussels sprouts very much, and so does John and Tony likes them as well. Oh, yeah. We all like it. When I tell you, I took a bite, and they can. They both asked me multiple times, what is wrong? Are you okay? I had to spit it out. I couldn't, I could not eat it. The, it was raw. It was raw. Like uh, the outside was a little done, fried, but they look hooked in the pictures I'll, I'll post here. Um, but they were raw as can be. I couldn't bite through it without, the middle was, the middle was just completely raw. 
Uh, it was not good at all. Um, then we had John. <laughs> John doesn't like John, I'm going to let you take it from here for your dish, okay? So, as you guys know, I'm a pretty picky eater. So I got the, I think we're called the Power Power okay. Lunch Menu. It's what I ate off of, and it was the, I do, you had an option for like an appetizer kind of sort of thing. An Which I'll post the picture of that here. And then we had the, after the entree, you got a brownie for dessert. So the entree, or the starter, I got was the tomato bisque soup. Nothing like I had ever put in my mouth before. Sorry about that. Thing. So what's your honest opinion? I would never eat this. Why? What's wrong? What, what, what to you? What's... It is not... It's not like a tomato biscuit I've had before. More cream than tomato? The texture is super weird. Like if you can it's see... It's kind of thick, a lot right? Of like, no, it's not thick at all. It's really thin. Hmm. And there's lots of like... I don't even know what that is. Like lots of different textures and... You'd think it'd be more creamy like like you expect, but it's, it's not. It's, it's really watery and chunky. Definitely different. Mm. So when you think tomato bisque soup, you're thinking like kind of sort of like a, like a tomato soup, maybe a little creamier with some little extras. This was nothing like I've ever, ever experienced. It was grainy, which I, I could tell they put like a bunch of different vegetables like carrots and stuff ground up in it, but it was so grainy, it was watery, it was, I had Josh try it and he liked it, but he likes a lot of different things, but I'm super picky. So when I'm looking at tomato bisque soup, I'm thinking tomato bisque soup. This was definitely a interesting take. I had Tony try it as this well. This was definitely a chunky tomato bisque soup which I is not something I, yeah I don't know if I, it wasn't even chunky it was more to me it was more grainy like we even thought one time that they had put seafood in it and maybe the seafood wasn't clean because it said they had like a like a sand texture on uh, some bites but yeah I had, like I said I had Tony try it he didn't like it either he he's like it he, he he described it as it sounds like someone tastes like someone threw up in a bowl I wouldn't go that far but it was definitely not what I wanted for my entree, I had the... Well, let, let, let's preface this. He was looking at two entrees. Correct. And the one entree he had decided on was spicy. And I, I specifically asked the waitress if we could get it not spicy because John cannot tolerate spice. He does not like spice as well. And she said yes. Now, this is not her fault. This would be the kitchen's fault because she did reiterate twice that we did not want spice and we confirmed with her. So it's definitely the kitchen's fault, but continue. I had a chicken, a chicken, like It's a, a stir fry. A chicken stir fry. Two traditional chicken stir fry with the vegetables and whatnot. There was a, some kind of chili glaze sauce on it, which that was the, they were supposed to like make not spicy at all, as well as, um, uh, couple other things. White rice. White rice. It came with the white rice and then obviously the chicken with the vegetables mixed together like a stir fry. But I put that in my mouth and I turned beet red. I don't, I don't handle spices very well that's why I kind of stay away from it. And it was so spicy. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, I had, I, I had Josh and Tony try it. Josh can handle spice. He's like that's a little spicy. For John that's like that was, over was the spicy. top. And Tony is like Wow, how did you even eat the bite you ate? Yeah, Tony can handle spice okay for the most part, but he doesn't like spice like I do. I like really spicy stuff. Yeah, and I, even Tony was like, man, I, you can't eat that. And I was like, you know, it can't be that spicy. I tried it, and to me, it's not that spicy, but I love spice. But for John, that had to be killing him. That, I mean, it was, it was that was super spicy, I thought. That would have been... I don't know how he swallowed it without throwing up. Uh, now, we did say later on uh, to the waitress what they happened. And they were 
wonderful. They took it off our yeah, bill. The was nice. She asked if yes. we wanted something else. I'm like, ah, at this point, I'm kind of, I was kind of turned off at the restaurant at that point because they messed up two things I had not liked. And then I got my dessert. It, it, it was, <laughs> it, it was pretty disappointing. It kind of overall. ruined the experience for us overall because we're there together. Individually, me and, me and Tony's dish wasn't that bad. I had the one hiccup. Tony's dish was pretty good. But the fact that we went there and we ordered something and specifically asked for it not to be spicy and they turned around and was like, hey, here's, here's, here's a bunch spice. of spice for major, you. Major, major spice. It, it killed the mood for us. They then, his... John's the dish was even bad. Yeah, John's dish came with the power lunch menu comes with the appetizer, an entree, and then a dessert. And his dessert, ugh, it tasted rancid. I mean, it I, did. The chocolate tasted rancid. It was not good. It was different. It had a chocolate and caramel drizzle, which I'll post a picture of it for you guys. And it, it was, phenomenal. it looked really good. Did not. The taste, the taste wasn't phenomenal. there. No. I was, I was super disappointed in this, but everybody's. Everybody I've talked to always said this place is really good. Now, to and me, I'll be honest, it was super me? moist. It wasn't was, good at all. But there was, I don't know, the flavor was there. I don't know if they used a different kind of chocolate or if it was bad, like they were saying. It definitely wasn't what you'd expect from a brownie. Now, when we first came here, I was a little excited because I've never been to a Kona Grill and Tony had talked about it in the past and he was like, yeah, this place is going to be really good. And nothing against Tony, you know, you, you can't help service. I, I, we were all excited to try it, yeah. and it was not, not yeah, up to par. Like no. um, let's get to the, let's get to the the juicy part here. The atmosphere and the location, or the lo what do you, the location? Is it easy to get to, guys? It's easy to get yes, to. Yeah. Pretty, pretty easy. Yeah. What would you uh, rate the atmosphere inside? Three or four. Three and a half. I would rate it a solid three and a half. What would you rate your individual meal, Tony, that you had? Um, Actually, hold on. What would you guys... What would you guys rate the pot sticker we had? That was a uh, four. About a four, yeah. It was really good. I would rate it a four as well. The, the, the slaw and the sauce definitely Slaw's did good. it for me. And the pot sticker itself was soft on the inside... But super crunchy on the outside. Yeah. At least on the part that's supposed to be on the bottom. It was good. What would you guys now, what would you rate your individual dish, Tony, the, Tony, the spring roll you had? Or the, the spider roll you had? Three and a half. Three and a half? Yeah. Is there anything you think they could have improved on on that roll? Uh, I don't know. Just uh, comparing it to other sushi places that I've, I've had, I've, I've been. I've been to very expensive sushi places all the way to not so expensive uh, sushi places and like I said if you're going to compare it to like a kazu it's about three and a half it, was, it wasn't bad it was good it was a good sushi roll but it was uh, like I said you know I, I, about a three and a half for a quick lunch to grab for on the power menu because that's what that roll was on the power menu could would you recommend it I mean yeah, yeah if you're going to eat there recommend it I, I personally me personally I won't eat there again I mean, well, that's because of the experience we all had together. Yeah, it just, but but it, it's just not, it just wasn't a it wow. Wasn't, it wasn't a yeah. wow experience. I mean, you know, it wasn't yeah. the food wasn't like oh my god, great. So you know, like uh, uh, the other places that we've been to so far, this is down there on the bottom of the ones we've been to so far. Uh, to me, uh, you know, it's not as good as uh, the other places that we've been so far. Yeah. Uh, for me, for my experience, I would probably rate it my dish. I would rate a two and a half. Uh, the salmon, yes, was very good, and the rice was very good, but the Brussels sprouts are a part of the dish, and I don't know how you can serve someone raw Brussels sprouts when they're supposed to be cooked thoroughly. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. You even, you even made a comment which made me laugh, like. They're like, they made your salmon, they made your rice. Like, oh crap, we forgot the Brussels sprouts. Throw them on and throw them on the plate. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how they did it, but for me, it's a two and a half. Now, John. Do I have You to had the worst experience do, of, a, of a song. Do I have to give it a star? No, if you, if you honestly, really, if you honestly believe they deserve meal, a zero. For my meal, 
if I can give a zero, you can give a zero. It's gonna be a zero. But if I have to give a star, it would be one. Nope. Only because you I give your one. honest opinion zero honest through five. Opinion zero. Sorry. I'm sorry, Kona Grill. The treats was great, but your cooks. Uh, no, just for your for, dish. Just for my dish, they were definitely not on par with <laughs> zero. my actual main dish. So the bisque, that could have just been me because it's a different take, but it was definitely not as advertised. All right, guys, now for the price point. For what we came here and got, five. do you think it was worth it? No. It's a five for price point? Five for price point. John? Oh, high, high is bad? High, five, five is bad, one is very cheap. cheap. So I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you my honest experience. Yes. So they did end up taking my entree, which was part of the package deal, was nineteen dollars for all three. But my miso soup, was, I mean, not sorry, my tomato bisque was still nine dollars by itself. That's definitely a five. That's way too expensive for soup. Yeah, comparative to other restaurants we've been to, uh, I would say, especially for the quality of food that we should have gotten exactly. with what they advertise. I would rate this a five out of five. I would not recommend coming here if you are on a budget. Eighteen, eighteen dollars or sixteen dollars? Sixteen dollars for a roll. Sixteen dollars for a roll. In my experience, for the quality of food it was, because I, I did try it, not worth it. Now, if you would have got the power menu, it would have been kind of worth it, but the yes. menu sucked. If you would have so, got the power, so it wouldn't have been worth it. <laughs> if you would have got the power menu, he would have got the, an, uh, an appetizer of some sort the roll in a dessert that is worth it $19 for a lunch that, that if you can if you can eat that brownie you you did enjoy the roll in the restaurant <laughs> I did enjoy you were the roll, but that brownie was was god awful <laughs> and the bisque I, I i i'm surprised you swallowed any of that I, i'm yes, telling but you they it was do terrible. Have, but they do have other options i know that but i don't even, you know it's so unforgettable the the, the experience yes. is, is so unforgettable that i don't even remember what the options okay, were okay if it was a different restaurant and they had a $19 thing for the exact same yes. thing, it would be worth it, would it not? Yeah, for sure. At another for restaurant, lunch, but yes. the, 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 this this that's what he's asking. This for lunch, lunch was so well, no. That's what I'm saying. If you went here and got different stuff, it could have been a total different experience. Yes, yeah, yes, it could have. So would I go back to this place? No, no. I wouldn't. No, I, I thought it was terrible. What I'm saying is, for the lunch, nineteen dollars for for what the options you get that's is that not a good price that's point? A great it's decent. Yeah. Now for the decent. price point, that's not bad. Overall, this place gets a two. What would we overall? It's a two. Two. I Zero would. Guys, sorry. I would give it a big fat one. That's it. I don't think like Tony was just saying. I'm not going to edit that out. But that, what he said is correct. For what we got, the the service was good. Don't get me wrong excellent service i would rate her service four to five she was wonderful but the experience we had with the food i won't forget and neither will tony we won't be back here yeah, even with even with the very forgettable the, the experience is very very forgettable like i don't even remember half the menu i really don't i don't even remember what the menu was, what was on the menu no the experience is unforgettable because we won't come back here the, the, but, uh, but the food is forgettable it's yeah the food is forgettable actually for me it's not because i i don't want to put that on my mouth yeah, we won't we won't be back. I don't recommend coming here unless you are willing to try their power menu, which is probably the best thing they have. It's only for lunch. Other than that, it's very pricey. Yeah. Um, we didn't enjoy it here. That's why we, we pretty much gave it an overall like a one and a half. Um, if you combine all three, if you okay. combine all three of our scores. But if you guys do go ahead and try it, let us know what you think. Yeah, yes, let please let us know what you think because maybe you'll have a different experience with the cooks. Maybe it was just they a, did say a it, fluke. I think it's their KG, yeah, their Kona Grill burger is one of their best things. But we have burgers all the time, so we yeah. want something different. We want something different. Yeah, I try and get something different whenever I go to a restaurant. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want what everybody orders. Like, Tony I, I want to trust was going to get the Poke Bowl, but he just had a Poke Bowl the other day, so we don't want to do another Poke Bowl. Yeah, yeah. So Not right now. It's, like I said, the. Uh, yeah, like Josh said, oh, it, it, I, was, it was it was it wasn't even mediocre. It, it, it really wasn't. It, it was to be fair, a trip of McDonald's probably would have sufficed us better. And I think that'll be in the clip somewhere because I said I'd rather have McDonald's. Yeah. At this point. Um, <laughs> now, guys, if you're from the Tampa Bay area and there is a restaurant you want us to go to, you want us to try, please let us know. Tag us, uh, tag our Facebook or Instagram. We'll see it, or just comment down below and. Uh, 
we'll check it out. We'll see what we can do. And guys, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.